I am Dr. Sindhu and I am the fetal medicine specialist at Astia Med City. Today I would like to answer one of the most common questions which I come across in practice which is what is a NT scan and why do we really need it. More importantly, most of the parents ask us this was not done for a previous baby who would have been born like 5 to 6 years back. So why do we do it now? So to answer that question, first I would like to explain to you what is an NT scan and what are the advantages of doing it. So NT which stands for nuchal translucency is a marker which is actually the fluid behind the baby's neck. By measuring this, we will be able to tell whether the baby is at risk of having a chromosomal abnormality or heart problems or any other uh, structural abnormalities. From the simple measurement of an NT, this scan has evolved over the years to a holistic examination of the baby by which we will be able to pick out whether the baby has any major structural abnormalities, chromosomal abnormality screening as well as screening for preeclampsia. So let's take one at a time. So structural abnormality as the name suggests is a deformity of any of the fetal organs. So why do we need to do this scan when we know that the structural abnormalities are better seen in a fifth one scan? It is because uh, most of the major structural abnormalities like uh, maybe anencephaly which is the absence of cranial vault etc is so severe that the baby is incompatible with life. So it is better for the mother to have uh, a first trimester termination of pregnancy rather than a second trimester termination of pregnancy both physically as well as mentally. So that is the advantage of screening for structural abnormality as early as the first trimester. Secondly, some of the structural abnormalities are compatible with life however they will require some kind of management either in the prenatal period or in the postnatal period before we go into such management it is essential to know whether the baby is chromosomally normal or not and for this there are certain tests which are present but the turnover time for this results to come is almost four weeks in order to take a better advantage of this uh, turnover time it is better to do the testing as well as diagnosing the problem as early as first trimester itself. Most of the chromosomal abnormalities do have some structural abnormalities which can be picked up in ultrasound. However, there is one chromosomal abnormality, namely the Down syndrome, which cannot be detected by ultrasound alone. And for such chromosomal abnormalities, we do have an extensive screening program. And this NT scan is one of the most important or almost the crux of the screening program. This along with certain blood markers like beta HCG, pap pay as well as the maternal age is used in screening for uh, this particular chromosomal abnormality. Not only Down syndrome but also other chromosomal abnormalities like trisomy 18 and 13 is also screened under this uh, screening program. Next let's talk about preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is not a fetal uh, problem it is more of a maternal problem uh, it is a condition where a mother who previously did not have any hypertension develops hypertension during pregnancy and this is usually associated with many other severe problems which can lead to both maternal mortality as well as morbidity along with that you can also have effects on the fetus but we have a medicine known as aspirin which can essentially uh, prevent the occurrence of preeclampsia to a certain extent but the only setback being this medicine needs to be started as early as in the first trimester itself. So how do we do that? We screen every mother for preeclampsia by using a software which includes maternal age, the baby parameters as well as the uh, blood flow towards the mother in the uterine arteries and certain blood markers like PLGF etc. By using this screening, we will be able to predict whether the mother will develop preeclampsia or not and in such mothers, we will start the drug aspirin in the first trimester itself. So this can decrease the incidence of preeclampsia as well. So for both the advantage of the mother as well as the fetus, we need to do all the screening in the first trimester which is between 11 and 13 plus 6 weeks of pregnancy and that is the importance of an NT scan.